It was Saturday fun day over at Pecan Land Mall as Neville Tiger alum and 2022 NFL Pro Bowler Kevante Turpin stopped by to meet and greet members of the community. Turpin was also honored with a special proclamation. 20th, 2023 has now been declared as Cavante Turpin Day in the city of Monroe, Louisiana. Team Up Sports Consulting hosted a fan celebration event to welcome back the Monroe native. To help someone that really needed it and me using all the resources that I had to get into that point is very gratifying. And just knowing that I could do the, I could do the job is gratifying enough. So great question. And I just appreciate everything that's, that's been happening. Cavante, who is a Neville Tiger alum, graduated in 2015 and went on to play football at TCU. After college, he continued to play football in three different leagues, earning him MVP honor in the USFL before landing on the roster for the Dallas Cowboys in 2022. Cavante spoke with NBC 10 Sports about how excited he felt being back in his hometown. Cavante adds, in his mission, he always wants to continue to give back to the youth. Just like, I always go back and show it out to the kids, you know, I always try to give back to the kids, you know, show them they like me, you know, you always can be yourself no matter what you do, you know, always keep fitness, be yourself no matter what you do. So that's, that's what I want to give to the kids, you know, keep fitting yourself right now. Many of the kids at the event were excited to meet and greet the NFL Pro Bowler. I also spoke with a few who aspire to play in a sports league one day. Swinging things over to some college baseball, Louisiana Tech looked to head into conference tournament on the right foot. The Bulldogs have lost three straight coming into Saturday's uh, contest. Looking to end the regular season on the positive, Stephen Pappas is in resting with more. For the final time in 2023, Louisiana Tech baseball playing home at the Love Shack. And for the five seniors on this roster, the very last time that they'll lace their cleats up here in Ruston. And while it was UTSA getting on the board first like they'd done in the two previous games, it was Dalton Davis answering the call early. Bulldogs down two to nothing. That wouldn't last very long. First batter of the game for Louisiana Tech in Dalton Davis. He gives this ball a ride to right center field. It'll just squeak over the wall in right field. The UTSA lead is cut in half. Later in the inning with two outs, Adarius Myers is going to get just enough of this ball and poke it in a right field. The ball hits the turf and Ethan Bates comes around to score. Tech answers right back with two runs of their own in the first inning and we are tied at two. Second inning now. In his final game at the Love Shack, Phil Matulia sends the crowd home with a memory. He blasts this ball to deep right center field. That clears the yard. Matulia with his team leading 18th home run on the season. Tech goes up 5-2. to two. They go on to win this one 7-5. Here's Matulia after the game speaking about his final at bat. And obviously in the eighth inning, I knew this was going to be my last at bat here at the Love Shack. And uh, but I was still just trying to get a hit. I wanted to get, I wanted to end up on top. And when I got on, when I got two strikes, I said I'm not going out striking out. I said I don't care what happens. I'm not going to strike out. Just was trying to put a good swing on it. Hopefully get a hit. Guy snagged it. It was a good play. But uh, it was just, it was a really fun moment. And with the Bulldogs' win and Middle Tennessee's loss, Louisiana Tech will be the sixth seed in the upcoming Conference USA tournament in Houston, Texas. No start time for their game, but it will be played on Wednesday. Reporting here at the Love Shack, I'm Stephen Pappas. All right, some more quick scores here. Grambling State drops Saturday's finale 6-1 to one to Pairview A&M. The G-Men gets ready for the SWAT Championships, which kicks off next week. And ULA Warhawks concludes Saturday's finale to Texas 17-0. to zero. 